His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cape of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the anniversary of the July Revolution. His Majesty the King wished President al Sisi good health and happiness and his people further progress and prosperity under the leadership. His Majesty praised the fraternal bilateral relations and their growth at all levels, affirming the keenness to continue strengthening ties to achieve mutual interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of McLaren's winning of first and second place at the Formula One Hungary Grand Prix. His Highness expressed pride in Bahrain's victory as a result of the support that international sports received from His Majesty, affirming Bahrain's remarkable status and success in making sports achievements and successes in international motor races. His Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and that Bahrain achieves the highest levels of progress and prosperity in light of His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations uh, from uh, the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the occasion of McLaren winning first and second place at the Formula One Hungary Grand Prix. In the cable, His Highness noted that the team's achievements affirmed their high performance and level that enabled them to reach the podium, praising His Majesty's vision and aspirations that Bahrain remains a leader and winner in all fields. His Highness also hailed the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed in achieving this victory. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the anniversary of the uh, July Revolution Day of Egypt. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Egyptian Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of McLaren winning first and second place at the Formula One Hungary Grand Prix. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the special representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on the occasion of McLaren's winning first and second place at the Formula One Hungary Grand Prix. The Kingdom of Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egypt, led by President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, share visions, goals and foreign policies. More in this report. The Bahraini-Egyptian relations are characterized by strength and agreement on various issues that affect the security and sovereignty of Bahrain and Egypt under the leadership of His Majesty the King and President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Based on the role of the two brotherly countries in the region, the meetings of His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President affirm the agreement of the two political leaderships as the meetings confirm their agreement on all common issues that affect the security and sovereignty of the two countries, such as the Renaissance Dam, combating terrorism and regional and international issues that achieve the aspirations of the two countries for peace, stability and prosperity. Meetings at the foreign ministries level also affirm the agreement between the two countries as they discussed enhancing joint cooperation and coordination at the political and diplomatic levels in all international forums, in addition to strengthening joint Arab cooperation in light of the developments and conflicts in the region that threaten security and stability. The Bahraini Egyptian visions and aspirations come together in many areas and situations, which is demonstrated by the leaders of the two countries for many years. <coughs> The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al-Msallam, sent congratulatory cables to the Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives, Councillor Dr. Hanafi Jibali, and Egyptian Senate President, Councillor Dr. Abdel Wahab Abdel Razak, on the anniversary of the July Revolution. He praised the strong historical ties and cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt under the leadership of His Majesty the King and President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He emphasized the Council of Representatives' commitment to strengthening cooperation with Egypt's House of Representatives and fostering ongoing collaboration for mutual benefit and development of both nations. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh congratulated Egypt on the anniversary of the July 23rd revolution. He sent congratulatory cables to the Speaker of Egypt's House of Representatives, Councillor Dr. Hanafi Jabali, and Egyptian Senate President, Councillor Dr. Abdul Wahab Abdurazzaq, on the occasion. The Chairman praised the high level of relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the development and growth in all fields. He emphasized the commitment to enhancing parliamentary cooperation for mutual benefits. Egypt plays a pivotal and political role regionally and internationally to pres preserve the unity and cohesion and security of countries, or in this report.
Through a balanced diplomatic vision, Egypt, led by its president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, was able to achieve tangible success in its foreign policy in Arab, Islamic, African and international circles, which reflected positively in favor of its people, the region and the world, and achieved many of its strategic goals and interests, and resulted in the international community's support of Cairo's efforts to consolidate stability, development and progress. And because the security of the Gulf is an integral part of Egypt's national security, Egypt was keen to support the security and stability of the GCC and enhance constructive strategic cooperation with the Gulf states. Egypt's foreign policy is based on the necessity of preserving the unity and cohesion of Arab countries, considering that Arab national security is closely related to the Egyptian national security. From this standpoint, Cairo has taken a clear approach that expresses the Arab support and position towards the Palestinian cause and international endeavors to implement the two-state solution and establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The Egyptian-African relations witnessed a growth and an interest in supporting economic integration between the countries of the continent. Egyptian-European relations also witnessed development and the keenness to strengthen them in various fields and sectors. Egypt also succeeded in achieving political rapprochement and opening the prospects for economic cooperation with Latin American countries. The Egyptian diplomatic achievements emphasize Cairo's high international status and in drawing the map of regional and international policy. Today, Egypt celebrates the 72nd anniversary of the revolution of July 23, 1952, that paved the way for the announcement of the First Republic of the King Country. The anniversary is a symbol of the Egyptian people's struggle and the aspirations for a free and generous future for Egypt and its people. The Egyptian people supported their leadership, led by the late uh, President Jamal Abdel Nasser and the announcement of the first president of the Republic, Mohammed Najib. The revolution achieved many of its goals and major national projects, which continued until the present. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi worked on national projects and major cities to achieve comprehensive development, a decent life for citizens, and led the march to further development and progress for Egypt. President Hassisi decided to build a large museum for the revolution and its leaders, consisting of a two-story building and a library highlighting the history of the revolution and exhibition halls that include pictures and documents. Bahraini Egyptian relations are witnessing steady growth in all fields, particularly economic and investment, as a result of the support of the leaderships of the two countries. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt share exemplary economic relations in light of the shared visions between His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President, as the two brotherly countries have several common elements that enhance the volume of trade exchange through utilizing investment opportunities and facilities provided by the governments of the two countries, which accelerated the pace of work for Bahraini and Egyptian companies to achieve the goals of the two leaders. This cooperation in economic and commercial integration in all fields is in the interest of the peoples of the two countries and contributes to the implementation of initiatives aimed at enhancing investment cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt based on the strength of the political and strategic relations. Bahrain has always been keen to build continuous cooperation with Egypt to achieve common goals that serve the two countries and their peoples. The economic and investment development in the two countries affirms the determination of the two leaderships to achieve a steady growth and close cooperation at all levels. The mutual visits between the two leaderships and officials have great importance in consolidating relations between the two peoples and discussing ways to develop them, particularly in the fields of trade and investment, and reflect an additional motivation to create further promising opportunities for the two countries, especially commercial and investment opportunities and joint projects, as well as develop existing ones to achieve common goals. Military cooperation between Bahrain and Egypt is witnessing significant growth in light of the wise directives of the leaders of the two countries. More in this report. The Bahraini-Egyptian military and security cooperation has grown to the highest levels under continuous guidance from the leaders of the two countries, becoming one of the main pillars of the partnership and integration between the two countries, based on principles and respect for the values of the national military doctrine, which aims to defend the security and stability of the two countries and confront any dangers that threaten the security of the region, 
most notably the fight against terrorism. Military cooperation between the Egyptian Ministry of Defense and the Bahrain Defense Force have reached high levels in all areas of cooperation and joint training, in addition to cooperation in the military academic field, joint studies, and coordination of strategic policies. Bahraini-Egyptian cooperation is considered one of the basic pillars for protecting Arab security and creating a climate conducive to security and stability in the region and the world. The two countries have had a deep-rooted and strong relationship that is a role model among brotherly and friendly countries and facing common challenges. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Rumehi, stated that the Beiti real estate platform launched in February alongside the third edition of the Housing Finance Exhibition is experiencing significant interest from citizens seeking to benefit from the ministry's financial services. Around 15,700 citizens have used the platform from February to July of 2024. Rumehi noted that the number of available properties on Beiti platform has increased due to the growing participation of the real estate companies listing their options on the platform. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority RIRA issued new guidelines for real estate advertisement across digital and print media to enhance transparency and credibility in the real estate market. The CEO of RIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, stated that the new advertising regulations aim to protect the rights of stakeholders in the real estate sector and support secure investment. He pointed out that the new regulations are a key step in organizing real estate advertisements by enforcing honesty, integrity and transparency requiring advertisers to disclose all essential properties information.